Now I'm recording. Oh, it's time for How to Art. The free $2 tutorial. Worth every, worth every bit of two bucks, but you're getting it for free. So, uh, tonight, I was playing around with some shapes, and I put some put some strange things together. Now, let me, let me show you something. Uh, let me set this aside, because we're not ready for that yet. I need blank paper. If only I could find blank paper in my studio. You would think that a studio like this would have blank paper laying all over the place. And you know what it does? Have blank paper laying all over the place. But I, can't, I can't get to it. Alright. This is my whatever journal. This is my whatever notebook. I used to make notes. I used to do math. I used to sketch at the Twin Peaks. I do actually I do a lot quite a bit of math. So um Let's let's look at something real quick. I want to I want to look at bubbles. I was looking at I was looking at how to make bubbles, and one of the things that I noticed about how to make bubbles was that when you have a bubble, let's just draw one here. I'm going to, I'm going to draw a bubble on my diagram. First, you got to start with a, a sphere, because the only reason it's going to be a bubble is because it's got pressure inside of it, right? It's, it, the, the pressure shining, the pressure's pushing out all the way, and then you're going to have a side that has glare on it. So you're going to have just like shading a sphere, you're going to have a side with glare on it, and then you're going to have a side with a highlight on it, right? So if you want, you can't see that. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to draw it dark just so you can see it, okay? So if you have, if you have a bubble, you start, with a, you start with a sphere. Oh, that's a horrible sphere. You know what? Yeah, um, excuse me. There. Okay, so you have, you have a bubble. And you start you start with a sphere, and then in a in a bubble you would have you would have a, a side that had that was uh, frosted glazed over uh, uh, had a, had a glare on it. That's what I'm looking for. It would have a glare on it, and then you would have a highlight on the other side, and that's what that's what people look for when they see bubbles. They they want to well, kind of looks like the Death Star like that. Can you see that? Kind of does kind of look like the Death Star. So I was looking at that and I was trying to figure out how to make how to make bubbles faster and easier and not you know not that that was hard or difficult not that that was hard it took a long time or anything like that but I, what if I wanted to make a whole bunch of bubbles all at once uh, and and you'll understand why as we get further into the program because we have the the uh, where is it the random object randomographer behind me over here so. <laughs> We're going to talk a little bit about that later, but uh, when we uh, when I was trying to figure out how I wanted to journal about it, I was thinking, you know what? I need bubbles. I need lots of bubbles. How am I going to make bubbles? And so I started thinking, let's get creative. Let's go. Ahead. We're artists, right? Let's 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 try to get creative. First, I need a circle. Well, what can I use to make a circle? Well, I can use practically anything to make a circle. You just saw me use the the tape. I mean, I could freehand a circle. Uh, but that, that's a slow process because I have to be careful to make a circle out of it. But the, the, let's let's figure out what we need to make a circle. And I started thinking of all the different things that, that make circles. Coffee cups make circles. Uh, jars make circles. Uh, buckets make circles. Lots lots of things make circles. But I found a jar and I cut it up to make a circle. And then I thought, okay, well, how do I make the the glazed side, the the uh, the uh, the glare? on the one side and the highlight on the other side. What? How am I going to make that happen? And so, it's a good thing I have a dark table. Oh, not that one. This one. And so, I took a peanut, an empty peanut butter jar and I, I, cut, I cut the top of the empty peanut butter jar off and cleaned it out. I had to eat half a jar of peanut butter to get an empty peanut butter jar, but I found an empty peanut butter jar found, you know, an empty peanut butter jar, and I cut the cut the top of it off, and I and I cleaned it out, and got all the paper off of it, and then I got this little fruit cup to stick inside it with a little cutout for a highlight. It wasn't big enough, didn't didn't work, but the bottom of a it's leaking, but the bottom of a drinking glass, one of those plastic cups that the restaurants give you when you go when you go places, that that worked, and so. I've got it pinned to one side. I cut it. Well, I cut it like this. 
Hi, Gingela. I cut it. I cut it like this, so that the spray paint would go over here more than it would go over here, and this would this would block it off, and then the hole in the middle would make would make it make a glazing. And so, just to demonstrate how it works. I'm going to stop for a second here, and I'm going to cover up my electronics. I find that that is an important thing to do. You know what? I need another one of those to cover up my brushes. <laughs> Hang on just a second. I got to actually have a sack of them up here. Because it's also important not to let spray paint get in your brushes. Oh, Gingel is gone. Must be, we must be having trouble with the chat. So, so here's the spray paint. Here's the jar top. Here's the thing, and I'm going to take and I'm going to aim for the. I'm going to aim for the highlight when I do it. I'm just going to take. I'm just going to make just like that, and I dig that. That could also be eyeballs. I thought, but but blade. I can't use spray paint. I work in a in a studio in an apartment. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to leave the house. My, my uh, master won't undo the chains. Whatever your excuse is. Well, here's a little spray bottle with a little acrylic paint mixed up with some water, and if you can make it spray, I may have already clogged it up playing with it. Sure enough, I clogged it up playing with it. Anyway, you can see it did it. You just gotta have a, you just gotta have a spray bottle that's worth the salt. So basically, don't don't uh, don't be limited. Don't don't say okay. Well, I've got to have I've got to have a certain tool. I've got to I've got to be able to do it a special way. And certainly, don't don't go eating a whole jar of peanut butter just so you can do this. But I don't. The important thing here is that you know. Get creative when you want to do something. When you want when you want to do something like this, you know, use your use your imagination and look around your house and see what you can find to build. So I used the bottom of a cup and I used uh, the top of a peanut butter jar and I have the clamp laying around. But you don't have to use the clamp. You could staple those things together. You can use pieces of you could use pieces of cardboard tubing and uh, staples. I mean, there's lots of ways you can make that. I kind of wanted to make this one permanent. I think I'm going to glue those together with uh, liquid nails. And so that's my $2 Tuesday tutorial, my free $2 Tuesday tutorial, how to art, uh, what do we call it? Making a bubble mold, making a bubble mask? I don't know. I like it. We're going to use it tonight. So with that, let me start recording. I mean, sure, you could just cut something like this out of paper and do practically the same thing. But it wouldn't be industrial strength. 